Good morning. Time now is 515 and it's going to be very hot as we head towards the weekend. But luckily for today, highs just in the low 90s, mostly sunny uh, or sunny low 100s. <laughs> That's where I want the temperatures to be in the low 90s, but low 100s for today for the hottest spots. But as we head into the weekend, we're going to be adding about 10, 12 degrees to that value. So it's going to get very hot and that's why we have our first excessive heat warning of the year Sunday through Wednesday. So we've added a day yesterday was just an excessive heat watch from Sunday to Tuesday. So now it includes Sunday through Wednesday and high temperatures could range anywhere from 107 to 114 degrees for spots in that warning. So getting very hot, but monsoon starts next week on Tuesday and we actually have a chance for some moisture to make its way into Arizona. So we'll talk about that coming up, but some isolated storms will be possible. All right, right now here's a beautiful live view of downtown. Really pretty start and we still have a few high clouds out there making for a really nice sunrise this morning. Uh, taking a look at your current temps if you're heading out the door 64 for Davis Monthan, 60 on the east side. Same thing for Sabino Canyon, 72 for Oro Valley and 67 on the west side. To the south and east, back in the upper 40s for our friends in Sonoida, 60 in Tombstone, 69 in Benson, 59 in Sasabe, and low 70s for Casa Grande and Ajo up in Phoenix, already close to 80 this morning. For your high temps today, pretty similar to yesterday, except yesterday we hit 103. So today, uh, potentially just 102, so maybe a degree cooler for most spots. 96 for Corona Day, Tucson and Vail. Still a little bit gusty out there this afternoon with gusts between 20 to 25 miles per hour. Overnight tonight, mainly in the 60s. Enjoy that while it lasts because we are going to push it into the 70s and 80s as our temps continue to heat up. Uh, to the south Andes, mainly in the mid to upper 90s, 103 possible for Safford. Again, 99 for Green Valley, 98 in Nogales. Also a little bit breezy to windy to the south and east too. Looking at your temp tracker for tomorrow, we're going to push it a little bit more. By 10 a.m., most of us in the 80s and 90s, so a very quick warm up. By the time we head towards 1 p.m., already in the triple digits for parts of the metro area and then by about 4 or 5 p.m. we're going to hit a high of about 105 or 106 degrees. So tomorrow will be the hottest day of the year so far, but then Saturday will be the hottest day and then Sunday. So I'll show you that in your seven day forecast. It is getting hot though. That's why we have this excessive heat warning for a decent portion of southeastern Arizona, excluding Cochise County, but temperatures still getting pretty hot here uh, with temps ranging from about 100 to 107. It also includes Santa Cruz County now, so getting pretty hot there again anywhere in pink temp will range from about 107 to 114 degrees. High pressure continuing to build. That's why it's going to get so hot. But thankfully, as we head towards midweek next week, we could see an influx of moisture. So some dry thunderstorms possible for the White Mountains on Monday. But by Wednesday, we could see some isolated storms here in the Metro Tucson area. Better chance to the south and east, but that could help cool us off a little bit as we head towards the second half of next week. But as you can see, getting very hot, record highs in jeopardy pretty much every single day starting on Saturday.